DevOps. DevOps is what brings us together today. DevOps, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. You know, DevOps is the greatest thing in the world, except for maybe a nice MLT, muttonless tomato sandwich, where the mutton is nice and lean and the tomato is ripe. I'm here today to tell you 10 of the things that you can learn about DevOps by watching The Princess Bride. If you haven't seen or haven't seen it re recently, I'm sorry there's references to it. You have homework now, I promise it's more fun than Aaron's homework. This movie actually teaches us the most essential of the like, core DevOps lessons, that we need to work together with people of different skill sets and backgrounds to achieve our goals. At the movie's climax, they need Fezzik's strength, Indigo's swordsmanship, and Wesley's brain to storm the castle. And even though they have different goals and motivations for, doing, or for storming the castle, they're able to, do, to meet all of their separate goals by collaborating and working together. We also learn, though, that people aren't always enough. We do often need tools and technologies to assist us. But it's just like them, it's important to know precisely what you need. Wesley does not bemoan not having a Kubernetes, I mean a catapult to storm the castle. They want a cloak and they want a wheelbarrow so that they, instead of trying to attack the castle, they can scare the guards away and then just sneak in. We can also learn from their mistakes, though. After using Fezzik for his strength, both Wesley and Inigo ditch him so that uh, they can go accomplish their own goals separately. However, they both forget to do one important thing, which is plan their escape. And Fezzik just goes and he handles that for them, never actually thinking about it. He finds four white horses. And he does this using the one thing that everybody in the movie underestimates him for, which is his brain. When you underestimate your colleagues, you take away their ability to pick up your slack and to fill in spaces where you weren't able to think about something. Our organizations pay us to solve difficult problems. They pay us for that reason. No vendor, no tool is going to take away all of the toil or all of the challenges from running your applications at scale. That's just how it works. Inigo lives his life reacting to the incident of his father being murdered. When he meets someone, he asks them if they have six fingers on their right hand. He is asking his system questions to determine what kind of actions he needs to take, which maps to observability. It's an oversimplification, but this movie does teach us this in numerous, numerous occasions. This is a different set of questions that, than what you want to ask if you're trying to determine which glass has iocane powder in it, and you're going to die if you drink it. We also learn that systems can lie to us. Here, Inigo's falling over and saying, I feel fine, right? After Fezzik says, you don't look so good, right? Our systems lie to us. When Inigo and Wesley first meet, they spend some time chatting and becoming friends before Inigo tells Wesley that he has to kill him. It's his job, after all. And this kind of maps to what we talk about in DevOps with having cattle instead of pets for servers. It goes further than that, though. To do our jobs well, we do need to be able to discard the work that ourselves and our colleagues have done previously. We absolutely need to respect it, just as Wesley and Inigo respect each other, but we can't cling to that. After those two slides, though, I do want to point out, you shouldn't kill someone using your, with our skills. Please don't. Um, and the movie shows us to be ethical, too. Both Fezzik and Inigo say that what they think that they're doing with Vecini is wrong. They think that he is the only person that will give them a job, so they go along with it. But by the end of the movie, they're working against the man who hired Vecini, they're rescuing someone, they're stopping a war, so you, and I mean, Indigo even gets a cushy gig as a pirate captain, right? Like, don't do something unethical because someone's paying you. Indigo here is telling Vecini that he's going to duel Wesley left-handed, which is his offhand. Minutes later, Fezzik, instead of throwing a rock at Wesley's head, decides to wrestle him. When we don't give people structure for how they want to flex their skills or how they want to do things on the job, they're going to do it the way they wanted to anyways, which is a great way for you to wind up with tools that you don't know about YOLO into production. Give people structure to flex their skills. And finally, before he dies, Vicini teaches us of the great blunders. Your organization is not going to succeed if you get into a land war in Asia. 
but he also teaches us that only slightly less well-known is never go against a Sicilian when death is on the line. 